Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today I just wanted to show you the Helentronics HLT 70180D servo. This is their 70 kilogram servo. So it's the, it's the strongest one that they make. I did previously have this one in, the HLT 5000WP. I'm probably gonna swap this to the throttle now because that's a 50 kilogram servo. And like I said, this is the 70 kilogram, so it's the larger model. Here is the box with some of the specs on there, the part number, where you can get it from. I bought mine from RC Max in the UK, the best price. At the moment we're at 7.8 volts, so not fully charged on the, uh, the 2S LiPo, but you'll get a good idea of what's going on. It's not as fast as the 5000, but you have got the extra torque there. It makes up the difference. It's still not a slow servo. It's very responsive, especially with the Tarva radio. And the um, push-pull steering with the ADI bell crank steering rack. Yeah, still plenty of speed and power there. Like I said, there's not much online about these servos. They have a few cool features. Got um, an LED at the back there that indicates different uh, settings on the servo. They've got an overload protection. They can turn themselves off if they're strained too much. Low voltage protection as well, so it will turn itself off if the voltage drops below a certain amount. Uh, so you haven't got to worry about that. Yeah, in the next part of the video, I'll, I'll set it up on the table again and we'll see what it moves like when it's got some load on it. Okay, so we're back on the table now. Let's have a little look, left to right. Still plenty of power there. Even when you load the front up, I've uh, stood on the front and there's still enough plenty of power to turn the servo. So there's the part number again for those interested. Should be a 24 I need. Look forward to getting it out and using it. Just the box again. Specs back on there, the part number, where you can get it from. There you go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.